we need to know exactly what happened, what caused it, and who is responsible for that. And once we have those, if we have those details, this would give us a clear idea of how to prevent it happening in future and how to best protect other critical infrastructure in the European Union, in particular in the energy sector. So first and foremost, we need to establish who carried this out. And uh, we haven't reached that point yet. We await the outcome of the ongoing investigations for the time being. We can't speak to what measures would be advisable in terms of protecting this infrastructure. At the same time, and in parallel, without awaiting the outcome of the investigations, we are working with the member states on stress testing other critical infrastructure in the European Union. And in the light of the uh, conclusions of these stress tests, well, and that's the whole point of stress tests, to uh, establish whether the measures and means in place are sufficient or not, or whether one needs to adopt new measures. So let us await the outcome of the two ongoing uh, operations, uh, which are operating in parallel. We await the outcome of the investigations on what happened to the Nord Stream pipe pipelines, and uh, let us await the outcome of the stress tests so that we can best decide what can be done in conjunction with uh, Nord Stream and with the member states. Let me ask my colleagues if they have anything to add. No, not at this stage. So uh, watch this space, as they say, and we will no doubt uh, have some news for you if the uh, parallel processes uh, lead us to that.